I'd like to start out today by asking a real important question. What in the world is choking the Word of God from our lives? This is a very important question because it is that Word of God that allows growth to take place, that empowers us, and that draws other people to our God. And the Bible describes three things that can be a part of your life that would choke the Word out from you. In Mark 4.19, it says, And the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. You know, this verse should be called, What chokes the word out of you? And what makes you unfruitful? Well, it describes three things here. The first thing is cares. You know, caring for something or someone is a beautiful thing, but it should never become a top priority to you. When those cares go above the priority of your love for God, they can actually choke out that relationship that God has with you. The other thing is deceitfulness of riches. We know all throughout the Bible that the description of those that would pursue riches fall into a snare. And the other is the lust of other things. You know, whatever these things that you place around your life that bring you comfort should never be something that is more comfortable than what God gives you. That's when these things get flipped upside down. The things that you care for and the people you care for cannot hold a place higher than God and his word. If you do, you choke the word. When you put God's cares above your own, he'll take care of all that belongs to you. It says that in Matthew 6, Seek first the kingdom of God, and all these other things will be taken care of. God wants you to know that he can manage these things for you without you placing your mind and your cares on these things or these people. He wants to free you up from those cares so that you would care for the things that he sees important in your life. Remember, Jesus says, take upon me my yoke. My burden is easy. My burden is also light. When you take on the cares of Christ, he will pull your cares for you. When you manage your own cares, you can't possibly be concerned about the cares he has for your life in this world. The deceitfulness of riches is an easy one. 2 Timothy 6, 9 says, But they that want to be rich fall into temptation and a trap, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which draw men away into destruction. It is the desire to be rich that will choke out God's word. You know, God has made many men after his own heart very wealthy, but these men put God and his word above everything in their lives. And the verse says also that the lust of other things choke the word. God wants to hold the only space in your desire. Remember when Eve saw that the apple was to be desired she then put her desire above God's. And guess what? God's word of warning was choked out. She couldn't even hear his warning anymore. He's making this very same warning in that verse to you. To be careful what you want, it can squeeze out the word of God. You know, I believe it's okay to have things. It's not okay for those things to have you. If you do have these things and they have that kind of control, you need to get rid of them before they own you. When you place your cares on the things of this world, it will choke out the word of God. And the verse says it becomes unfruitful. And this is a very bad thing. We know fruitful is described by the word as to multiply or spread around the world. 
When the word stops multiplying or gets choked out, the light goes away. And it's described in Matthew 5.14. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. This verse is telling you that when God and his word hold the highest place in your life, which is the top of the hill, he can't be hid by anything around you. But when the things around you are able to hide God, this is what you're doing in Matthew 5.15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a cover, but they put it on a candlestick, and it gives light to all that are in the house. The verse starts in 5.14, you are the light of the world. Covering that light is choking the word of God. Covering your light with things around you is not wise and you put yourself in the position of being mocked by worldly people, they're gonna to say to you, what is this guy doing? What a fool. And God will say, worldly people are smarter than my children, which is what he says in Luke 16, eight. And the Lord commended the unjust steward. Wow. God is complimenting a worldly person. And the verse goes on, because he had done wisely, for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. When you choke out God's word, when you cover your light, you're powerless and unwise. And the worldly people will get great advantage over you. Remember, you're in their territory. This is not our world. Our kingdom is of another world. And the only thing that can save you you covered. And we are told that the word can no longer be fruitful. And God will say, the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. This is truly the condition of the prodigal son. He has walked away from his authority, went to the mud pit to cover his likeness to the father. And the worldly people that call the pig pen their home mock the son for being there. In John 12, 46, I have come as a light into the world. Whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. If you're in the pig pen, you are in darkness. It goes on and says, you are children of light. You should not abide in darkness. But when you take up residence in the world, that's where you are, in darkness. You're children of the light because the spirit of truth dwells in you. And in John 14, 17, it says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because they don't see him. And by the way, if you're a prodigal son, you're hiding him. It goes on, and neither do they know him, but you know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you. You see, the world cannot see him and they don't know him. And then you ask why? Well, because as children of the light, we are choking out the word of God because of the people that we care for and the things around us that we care for. And with our light, we cover it with a basket. You cannot be surprised when the world does not get it. What part are we playing in hiding the truth from them? And 1 Corinthians says, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom that God planned before this world you know, the people of the world cannot see the wisdom of God because it's hidden in his son to be revealed by the children of God, the children of light, the light on top of the candlestick and the children of the city on top of the hill. My question is, what in the world are you doing? This is food that I've provided to my family for years. I want to now provide it to you. I hope you'll share it with a friend. If you like it, I'll provide more. Thank you for listening and God bless you.